Ian, this VM5, I mean, it strikes me as a very small machine. Is it Herco's smallest? Yes, it is. It's our um, entry-level machine, the VM5. Um, you mentioned the size, so it's 1.6 wide by 1.6 deep. Um, where, so it's a nice, tidy footprint. We can get it in through a two-metre door comfortably as well, so the, the height restrictions very often are a problem. And is there any compromise on the spec inside of the machine in terms of its performance, uh, you know, when you talk about the VM range in general? Yeah, um, well, as an entry-level machine, obviously it's, um, you know, some of its other counterparts in that range will have a higher spec, but the machine comes in as standard with an 8,000 RPM spindle, a 16-station tool changer, the, the working envelope uh, machining-wise is 456 in the X by 356 in the Y and 356 in the Z. So it's still quite a comprehensive uh, machine. And if you wanted to put um, options on the machine, are, they, are there any available or is it you get what you see? No, it's the same with the rest of the line of all the machines we have. You know, there are various options we can offer depending on whichever customer's application it may be. The, the machine is standard, the control, even on our entry-level machine, as a standard machine, would have the same functionality and capability as some of our high-end machines as well. So you don't really lose anything by that. Uh, when you talk about the VM range, I mean, how many, you know, when you look at the VM10 and the VM5, how many of these will you sell in a year? Um, the VM range, which comprises of uh, four different machines, we're looking at possibly in the UK, well, over 100 a year, just in the UK alone. Some, some years, 150. And what's the main reason someone purchases one of these VM5s in as a final point? Um, well, it would be for this couple of a couple of reasons. One, the um, footprint of the machine and the size you know, that it's going to take up once it's in the factory, getting it into the factory to start with maybe, and getting through a small um, doorway, and and the price of the machine as well. It starts at thirty four nine fifty, so. It's quite a, a low starting price. I can imagine it's very good for the educational sector as well, learning, getting yes, into CNC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, many customers buy them and, and use them you know, in uh, their workshops for maybe apprentices to learn on um, or second up in jobs as well. So instead of using up valuable time on a more expensive machine, they can second up it on this machine. And compatibility, finally, on the tooling, what's the spindle nose on here? So it's a 40 uh, taper, so CAT or, or BT, pretty much standard stuff. Could you just summarise then, Ian, the machine? Uh, yeah, basically what you're looking at here is you know, a very nice, affordable machine for most people that doesn't take very much space in your factory.